Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. All my Algorand fans, you're a day late and I'll go short because this is yesterday's Algorand news. I am, of course, the real Monty Allen and I am your crypto nerd. If you are on Twitter, hit hashtag Algo News. I will find you and I might put you in the news. Who knows? All right, let's get this show on the road. All right, so first up today, the big news from yesterday was the, uh, the, the published paper that Arrington put out. And this wasn't the first published paper that Arrington put out regarding Algorand. They initially put out this thesis for Algo currency markets back in June of 2019. So it's been a few years. So Nino thought, hey, you know what? It's probably time for me to update this and update it. He did. Now, originally, this was primarily, you know, it, it had a lot of references to, to Bitcoin and to, you know, maybe defining Algorand in terms of the Bitcoin, um, um, you know, kind of markets and what, what was going on with, with BTC at the time. Um, but they put this out. Uh, I saw it yesterday, 1052 a.m. And the new version is called Illuminating the Dark Age of Blockchain. Algorand and let's see if I can hit play here for us. I think I can So you can't I'm, I'm not gonna summarize this whole thing for you, but Maybe is it going? Yeah, there we go, but it's 40 pages long Now a lot of folks that hit this link and they get taken to what is a, the executive summary and that's just a kind of a one-pager Don't be confused. That is not the actual report or the paper that, that was published the real paper You got to download it. It's a PDF. It's 40 pages long and it's too much really to kind of summarize here But I will tell you that it uses um, You know the 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 dark ages to kind of describe what's going on overall with the industry and how you know it, there's there's a few shining lights here and there but overall you know there's a there's a lot of lost people there's a lot of misinformation that's out there there's a lot of prosecution or persecution of of you know of inaccuracies and so he really hypothesizes that hey algorand is going to be the one that kind of comes through and and shines the light illuminating the dark age of, of, of blockchain so and primarily uh you know the, the 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 thesis here is that yes algorand itself is fantastic you know he talks a lot about uh, being a, a layer one and having you know solve the the trilemma um but he also talks about how we're going to come through this and how um bridging the gap between DeFi and TradFi, traditional finance is really the key and I, I like this approach. And his his feeling is that, hey, the Algorand team is not trying to reinvent everything. We just want to make what's what's out there better and and step by step make incremental changes so that people aren't as scared by it as they were by, you know, when Bitcoin came out. They don't see it as so much as a threat as more of a collaboration. And I think that that is important. If we're going to get mass adoption, we probably need to have some collaboration with with um, you know traditional finance. Go check it out for yourself. There's a couple of you know there, there's some superfluous language in there. He gets a uh, you know uh, maybe overly optimistic, I think, and in, in some cases, personal opinion um, and makes some some you know some grandiose language. But there there is some real value in here, and it's a great thought experiment. Um, he talks about uh, you know the Lindy effect, which if you're not familiar, is really just hey the the longer something has been in existence, the more likely it will continue to be in existence. And the fact that Algorand has been in existence for two years now with zero downtime and, you know, just the stability that we have, um, you know, portrayed, meaning that that more people are going to recognize that and flock to it uh, and, be, and see it as a, a, a pillar of the industry. And I, I certainly hope that that is true. Go check it out for yourself. It's 40 pages and uh, it's definitely worth the read. So here over here, we've got uh, I don't know what these guys are. These are the minis. The minis are happy to announce that they are uh, on Algorand. I don't know what the minis are, but they're on Algorand. And if you hit play, they're kind of cute. I don't know if this is the new Crypto Kitties or what's going on with the minis. Uh, or maybe, maybe they're not even minis. Maybe they're minis. I don't know. Somebody out there is going to have to tell me if they're minis or minis. Um, anyway, uh, they're NFTs and they're available on the Algorand blockchain. I just like the NFTs and I like all those cool ideas. So there you go. There you have it. 
Um, in more substantive news, um, Alex Trafonis posted that, hey, we got an Algodex official update here. So they are at the stage where they can trade, um, you know, ASAs back and forth between people. So they've got kind of a, you know, test net. I, I've seen a few demos of this, you know, he's, he's brought it up kind of in a shared screen scenario and a couple of uh, presentations that he's done, various groups that I've been a part of. And it, it's just interesting to watch this grow. And really, I mean, at this point in time, it's really only been a couple of months in the grand scheme of things. It hasn't been that long at all, but uh, he's got a, a functional um, prototype really up and running. It seems to be functional. Um, he, he's trading, you know, ASAs between, you know, his closed uh, uh, ecosystem there. And man, this thing is making progress a lot. Now, I did see the other day he was talking about funding. You know, funding is kind of lagging a little bit, but they made a ton of uh, progress without the funding so far. Uh, go check him out. I know he's got a spot to make some donations, and I think it's a good project to, uh, uh, to be involved in. Now, earlier we talked about mass adoption. And uh, who put this out first? Be more, see more, maybe? I don't know. A bunch of people put this out. But Circle and MasterCard announced um, a, a pilot program, right, for USDC. And... It's interesting because USDC is probably running on the Algo Explorer. He, over 216 million USDC is circling, circulating supply in Algorand, and Algorand is less expensive to settle on than some of the other blockchains, so it makes sense that they would uh, want to use Algorand in, in this case. And seeing how it's a pilot program, you know, that I could see that, that happening. Now, they didn't specifically mention Algorand or any other blockchain that I saw in the article. I'll list the article here for you. But... Circle is, um, you know, partner with Algorand. Obviously, they, they have, you know, a good amount of their token on the Algorand blockchain. So I think this is a good uh, progress. And we like to see these types of partnerships with mainstream traditional finance. All right. Last but certainly not least, um, I want to talk about some NFT specialization. So, you know, I've kind of been on the NFT um, uh, kick lately. And we have here Extra Fox 100. So Extra Fox 100 is kind of my NFT artist of the day. So he, he sent me something here and said, hey, this is my upcoming drop. It utilizes hardware purchased from sales and support through the ANFTM community. I made this based off of 250 frames of 3D rendering, about 20 seconds. I chose the new song, Fox Rules, for creating this animation. You took two different but similar sounds and portrayed the feeling with the lemon lime colors to leave your eyes refresh through the audiovisual NFT music video. Now, I will leave you with that here in just a second. Before we do that though, uh, I wanna show you some of his work, just just briefly, right? Because I, I think it's awesome. So a couple, couple of these look like, you know, trading card format, right? I think, I think that's awesome. If there's sound on, we may wanna turn the sound off. This one doesn't have sound, but I think the next one does. Yeah, this one. But check it out. All right, uh, this one in particular, I, I like this one with the, uh, the, 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 the wood knot turning into the eye that's kind of creepily looking at you. Uh, and this card down over here kind of intrigues me as well, um, which is on sale for a cool, what, thousand algos, I think? Yes. Um, so figures, I got the expensive taste. I want to I wanna look at the one for a thousand algos. If you don't recognize this, this site, I will go ahead and link this for you as well. This is the Rand Gallery. So uh, I'll link this for you. It's a cool spot to see uh, not just this artist, but a lot of different artists. So take a look at that and um, you know what? Like participate, uh, own some NFTs, get involved in that market. Uh, I think it's a, a good spot to be in. And I, I'm glad that that is available on the Algorand blockchain because there's no forking. There's no forking around with this stuff. All right, that's all I got today. Be safe out there, and uh, let's listen to uh, our cool NFT. And they aren't all just visual. This one is kind of visual, but um, if you're driving, you can listen to it, and it's kind of cool as well.